On previous seasons of Big Brother, it was a roller coaster of emotion <laughs> as house guests battled for power, yes! oh privileges, and $500,000. Oh my God! Tempers exploded. It's going on! Sit Don't down. Come on down. Sit Don't down. Down. This is not all my fault. You're going home. Keep my kids out of it. What are you going to do? I hate you! And romances blossom. Come on, little bird. Feel free to climb into my bed whenever you want. The hopes of many were crushed. <laughs> Nothing happened in that hot tub. That's not right. But for six, the dream came true. Congratulations. After six summers of unexpected twists, oh my. intense power struggles, and sizzling summer fun, <laughs> the best of the best are coming back to do it again. Tonight, 20 all-star candidates will be revealed, and your votes will help decide which 12 make it into the Big Brother house. It's on! Welcome to Big Brother 7 All-Stars. Good evening, I'm Julie Chen, and we are about to begin the most anticipated Big Brother yet. This summer, we will be reuniting the best of the best, the house guests you love, and the house guests you love to hate from the past six seasons. That's right, this summer, it's Big Brother All-Stars. Tonight, we'll catch up with 20 of them who are all hoping for another shot at the half million dollar prize. Out of these 20, only 12 will be walking through the front door. Who will be moving back inside the Big Brother house? At the end of this hour, we'll ask you to begin voting for your favorite house guests. The top six vote-getters, three men and three women, will be guaranteed a key to the Big Brother All-Star House. We'll tell you how you can cast your vote a little later on. Already an international phenomenon overseas, Big Brother premiered in the U.S. back in the year 2000. Ten strangers moved into a house where cameras watched their every move. But back then, it was a different game with different rules. And there was one house guest so memorable, we couldn't do an all-star list without him. Beer drinkers of America! <laughs> you think I'm cool? Yeah. Oh, are we messing with the chicken man today? I got the name Chicken George because I was the one that took care of the chickens. Is our chicken dead? No. I don't know, but he ain't looking good. Maybe we'll be giving like CPR or something. The Big Brother experience to me was, it was fantastic. I was a contractor from a small town in Illinois. We are prepared for anything you could throw at us tonight, Julie. I had never really lived anywhere besides living in my home with my wife and my family. The family thing is really tough for me because I've never really been away from them a long period of time. That was so difficult. But I would give anything to play the game again. When we did Big Brother 1, we were just a pool of people that really didn't know quite what we were even doing. But now, the game has changed an awful lot. I want to play the strategy, the backstabbing, the lying, and I'll do whatever I gotta do to make it to the end. Woo! Chicken George is our first all-star candidate. Whether or not he makes it could be up to you. Now on to our candidates from Big Brother 2. In the second summer of Big Brother, the game was turned upside down. Backstabbing and strategy ruled as the house guests were forced to evict one another from the house. Each week, players would compete for the right to become head of household. The HOH was safe for the week and received a luxurious private room with special perks. But with this privilege also came the responsibility to nominate two people for eviction. With these new rules, strategies were challenged, alliances were ever-changing, and no one could be trusted. Here are your all-star candidates from Big Brother 2. And 
Fabulous. Ah! All right, all right, all right. I get weird when I get bored. Oh, not bad. <laughs>「ゲイガイ」from the south with a hairy back named Bunky that cried all the time <笑> I'm sorry is it okay? why are you so sad Bunk? <笑> so not a big deal Bunky give me a hug I'm a sensitive person and I don't think that people should be ashamed of showing their emotions <笑> where's your Tupperware you were talking about? you must you... really think I'm a fag bring my own Tupperware I brought my Mary Kay products but yeah that's is Tupperware. that what this is? I didn't like Kent at first, especially when he came up to me before I came out to him. You know, it used to be sickos, weirdos, and freaks. Now it's alternative lifestyle. Then as days went by, Kent ended up being one of the nicest people in the house. I admire the courage it takes to be who you are in a straight world. It takes a great deal, and I respect you for that. Since being on Big Brother, Kent is probably the only person that I keep in touch with. Good night, you homo. <laughs> Good night, you grump. Do we have consensus? Do you want me to vote for uh, Kent or for Will? I made it to the final five because I tried to be a nice guy and let people have what they want so that they would like me. I'm just trying to stay in the game and I'm a puppet. I'm not going to give up my strategy right now, but um, I'm definitely going to play the game differently. I think America should vote for Bunky to be in the Big Brother 7 house so that they can see the new and improved Bunky and see how I've changed in five years. And I'm going to try this year not to cry at all. <laughs> half man, half amazing. <laughs> Trampoline! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's easy being this good looking? It is easy. Do you think you're ever going to be a human? I look like a human on the outside, but it's just skin over circuitry and wires. <laughs> I'm best known in Big Brother for being ruthless. Well, at least we're honest. You are, but I'm not. I was very honest with everyone. I told them I was going to lie. Listen, I am an evil person in the house. I said I was going to lie from day one, and I said I was evil from day one. My strategy is to make alliances with everyone. I offer them my hand and I tell them, hey, don't worry about it. You should right now. Sucker. I kind of look over the stage and I, and I play the marionettes. You have to backstab to win. That's what it takes. You will trade me. People were really trying to evict me and I was on the hot seat very often. Will I nominated you? Will I nominated you? Not nominating you would be like Christmas without presents. I was nominated as well. <laughs> How did I survive it? It makes sense keeping me around because I'm so hated that any time I could go out. I absolutely pioneered the strategy of being evil and hoping to be taken to the end. Congratulations, Will. You are the winner of Big Brother 2. I want to get back in there because I have a big ego, and I want to mix things up and make everyone realize that there's nobody safe. Great game, baby. Great game. Who's the best Big Brother player in history? I don't see Michael Jordan walking around telling people what a great basketball player he is. I think we all know the answer to that question. It's hot out there, we'll chill in the sun, pick me or her, we're still gonna have fun. Let's party. Let's dance, you know what I'm saying? When I came into Big Brother 2, um, I very quickly gravitated to the Chill Town Alliance. People are intimidated by intelligence, vanity, and uh, power. And we possess all three of those things. It was kind of like the, the Brat Pack. Chilltown were better looking, cooler in their everyday lives, people you'd want to spend time with as opposed to buying insurance policy from. Baby, I'm gonna get out for you. Yeah, I know. I fell for Krista, who I just found to be an amazing person. <laughs> I was able to uh, actually listen to a female speak and <laughs> not make it all about myself. Will you marry me? <laughs> Krista and I never got married, but uh, we were engaged for a while. Um, we separated, and I haven't spoken to her for a couple years. I have nominated Mike, and I have nominated Krista. Falling in love with Krista clouded my judgment in the game and made me a little more of a target. It's like being in a movie, and the extras and the stand-ins take over the movie, and the stars are out. Because I'm a star, and he's an extra. 
I kind of felt stupid, you know, especially um, fairly duped by people that are not as smart as me, quite frankly. Mike, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Paroled. Will and I are very good friends, but it would be a nice coup d'etat five years later to show him that maybe Mike Boogie's just as smart as he is. I would like to, to take a shot at him. I can be a very smart player that can be very dangerous in this game. Black woman, yes. <laughs> I can co-sign that one. <laughs> Baby, it's on. It's gonna be on. It's on. If I say it's on, something is getting ready to jump off. Bucky, you got something to say? Kid, you got something to say to me? I was honest. I played a good game. I kept it real. Act like grown-ass people. Stop acting like kids. I'll talk behind your back and then I'll say to you, I said to your face. And kid, if you wanna talk, let's get down. That morning, I was just pissed off. I had had enough. But I will bust one of y'all asses if you with me like this again. When I made it to the final three, I was a little surprised that I made it that far without a real strategy. I can't tell you what I'm going to do different if I get on the show, but I'm going to continue to be Monica. I'm going to continue to keep it real, and if you cross the line, it will be on. You can best to believe that. Monica, Bunky, Mike Boogie, and Will join Chicken George in our top 20. Will any of them become a Big Brother All-Star? Your vote could make the difference. When we come back, I'll give you a sneak peek inside the Big Brother All-Star house. And who will be the candidates from Big Brother 3? Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother All-Stars. For the first time ever, America will help decide which house guests will face off for a half million dollars. That's because six of the 12 All-Stars will be America's vote. Each week in this living room, the house guests will learn their fate as one of their own is evicted live. Who will be here battling it out from Big Brother 3? Let's take a look. I love looking at myself. I mean, I'm not the brightest boy on the face of the earth. I'm not trying to pretend like I am. I'm just really cute. I'm like the most beautiful boy in this house. These boys are already cracking. They've been on too long. Yeah. Come on, Marcellus, I gotta paint my nails after we do this. Yes, Missy Amy, I'm coming right now. <laughs> Amy and I were two outcasts that were definitely used to being the most popular people. <laughs> and I understood Amy as, as well as I feel like I understood myself. Are you sure you made black under there? I nominated Marcellus and Amy. I made one of the most memorable slips in Big Brother history. I competed for the Golden Veto and I won it. And I could have taken myself off the block. Please reveal your decision now. I'm not going to lose it. I don't want you to have to decide between them. Amy, I love you so much. I really trusted Jason. I really thought that he put me up against Amy because he wanted Amy to go. You should have used the veto. I'm sorry, but I vote to evict you, Marcellus. It was almost like this Greek crazy tragedy where you know you shouldn't do something, but you have to see how it plays out. Just dump your stuff. The first interaction I've had is Julie Chen, who smacks me upside the head. What were you thinking? <laughs> I know you can't erase something in the past, but this is a chance to go back and maybe correct an error. I was the pretty girl in the bathing suit all summer, and <laughs> I think I am best known for the peanut butter bikinis. I'm gonna melt. We're gonna melt. I formed a relationship with Eric, the fireman. I get more kids in this room when people be touched the right way. Are you serious? But I have to admit that part of my gut feeling knew that he would be seen as the stronger player. So the week that we were put up to be evicted, 
I kind of knew just in my gut that he'd be going home. It was definitely a hard separation. I keep my mouth shut, my eyes open. I think that was easy for me to make it to the end of that game. He came okay. out the oh, freaking boy. bathroom and he did not wash his nasty hands. I just sat back and I just watched every single person hate on each other. And how did I play? You ran you out there, ran out there, there screaming at her, treating face. her like... And as long as I stayed out of the way, it wasn't getting me in any trouble. Congratulations, Lisa. You are the winner of Big Brother 3. I think a lot of people look at me and say, oh, she just rode coattails. And I did. I can't lie about it. I'm very grateful for their coattails. It was a fun ride. But this time, it's time for me to play the game. People either love to hate me or hate to love me. Happy? Very good. If you work on this and you screw me, I'll come after you. Whatever. My biggest regret for Big Brother 3, well, the diary room, because I was so real and raw. Yeah, I lied. You ain't full of nobody. Whoopie doopie on a poopy. Don't mess with me. That diary room was just me, just how I felt at that time. Two down, eight more to go. Three down, four down. Seven down, and four, three, two, one more to go. The countdown was something not to be arrogant, but it was something for me to focus on the goal. It's all about the money, 500 Gs. I had a strong alliance, a secret alliance with Jason, and we kicked butt in that house, and it was phenomenal. You all right? Jason would work with some people on one side of the house and I would work with some people on the other side of the house. And what we did, we'll sit down and we'll compare notes. We have to even appear like, like there's problems between us. Like, I mean, we, we might have to stage a fight at some point. No one had any idea. Yeah, yeah, those house guests said I knew all along. They didn't know because Jason and I made it to the final three. Never, ever nominated. Three. Final three. I played the game smart, but not smart enough. Congratulations, Lisa. You are the winner. Why do I want to go back in that house? One word. Redemption. Eight out of the 20 candidates have been revealed, and 12 more remain. When we return, Big Brother 4. It was another sizzling summer and a shocking twist. Welcome back to Big Brother All-Stars. In the past, the house guests have spent hours in the kitchen complaining about the peanut butter and jelly diet. But this year, look out for a new treat that will have them begging for PB&J. Now it's time to reveal the candidates from Big Brother 4, which introduced The X Factor, one of Big Brother's most talked about twists. Several house guests were shocked to learn that they would be living with their ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend. Which of the exes and their housemates made the cut? I came into the house on Big Brother 4 and it was all really great and we were all having a great time. And 10 minutes later, my ex-boyfriend walked into the house. Is it Robert? Do you go by that or do you go by Rob? Or... Robert. <laughs> Robert. Yeah. All right, man. That very moment, I'll probably remember it for as long as I live. I can't believe it. I was kind of an emotional mess. I just want to apologize for um, any of the stuff that I might have said in here. Oh, my God, that means so much to me. I was actually really, really thankful that Robert and I reconciled in the house. So what do you think? You want to get back together? <laughs> I had to throw it in. When was the last time you were negotiating with a bunch of kids? <laughs> I had an alliance with Jack pretty much from the very beginning of the game. That's how we win it, Jack. <laughs> Me and you. To the end. Yeah. Jack and I actually still remain very, very close. He's definitely a father figure to me. I actually played a perfect game in terms of who I aligned with. 
My worst game move was not being able to win the Diamond Veto. <laughs> I think if I had won that, I would have gotten the win. And I vote to the big Derek. I would really love a chance to redeem myself because I know I can win it. Come here, you little bitch. Let me spank you. This is me. Oh. I'm really pissed off. Oh, I'm so pissed off, right? I'm a spicy personality, you know? It's, it's real easy to set me off. You'll see that it was a move that no other guy or girl in this house had to to make. When I went into the Big Brother 4 house, you know, we went in only eight of us. And we figured, all right, good strategy. The eight of us stick together. I think we're good. I think we've got we it for a few weeks. Us. Absolutely. We're eight strong right now. But when the exes came in and none of them were my ex, <laughs> I was like, wow, these guys are kind of cool. Justin was Allison's ex. It's not, I want your man. It's not. He was so cute. I was like blinded by his hotness. You have a nice life. I told you that very well. Thank you. They're voluptuous. That's where I lost sight of the strategy. And I, I blew it. I was the first person to turn my back on the original alliance, the Elite Eight. I nominated Allison and Jack for eviction this week. I think you betrayed everyone. It all came back to bite me in the ass the very next week when Allison won HOH. As head of household, I nominated you, Dana, an eye for an eye. Dana, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Hindsight being what it is, I, I should have, you know, thought about things a little bit more. I switched sides. That's the only mistake I made. I made that mistake once. I want to play the game this time, 100% game. I'm not scared or intimidated by other people. So to me, bring in all the best players and let's, let's really have a game. Hear <laughs> me now. I'm probably best known for being a hooker in the house. <laughs> mm. Manipulating the men was definitely part of my strategy. You fucked up with almost every guy in the house. So. Uh, I am not. Yo, whoa. Hey. What? Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Take it off. Ellie just fell in love with you. You have to stand there and wear that all night. When I saw Nathan in the house, he was very obviously naive and gullible. Golly. 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 Nathan doesn't even smell appealing. He, his smell drives me crazy. Ugh. Hello. Come to daddy. I, I knew I could just... <laughs> You've looked me in the eye and you lied right to my face. Like, there's... You'd do it again. Actually, you could say that's anything. a bunch of bull... Put up Allie and get Allie out of here. Put Allison in there, we got her right It got to the point where everybody hated me and everybody wanted me out, so I just told people what they really wanted to hear. You're the only one I have the lines. If I win the final HOH, I'll take you. And that's how I made it to first runner-up. I got one whole vote from the jury. I vote for Allie. <laughs> Congratulations, June, by a vote of six to one. You are the winner of Big Brother 4. This first runner-up, first loser crap is not good enough for me, so I'm coming back with a vengeance. More than half of the all-star candidates have been revealed. Remember, your votes will help decide who will be walking into this house on move-in night. Big Brother 5 is next. Will your favorites make the list? We'll find out when we return. In Big Brother 5, we introduce Project DNA. In one of the most surprising twists ever, a pair of identical twins played the game as one person, swapping places every few days and fooling the entire house. And in a second twist, two house guests who were complete strangers were shocked to learn they were actually brother and sister. Who from Big Brother 5 will be in the top 20? You are eliminated. I know, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Ultimate betrayal. <laughs> I uh, formed an alliance in uh, Big Brother 5 called The Four. Idiot horseman. That's a hot picture, dude. <laughs>
We were just a group of four guys that were standing there without our shirts on and thought, hey, this looks right. This feels right. <laughs> yeah! I would just like to say, those of you that conspired against me this week to vote me out of the house, two words. Kiss my ass. The fateful day I remember. Chase, wow now, brother. It's on, Scott. I'm looking at Adria because she just voted out Scott, and she was saying, we'd never vote you. I wouldn't. I'm just a poor group of Alabama. You're the biggest liar. You're in the HOH room. You were crying. Everybody knows it. I'm calling her a liar. I'm like, I'm throwing holy water at her. It's getting crazy. There's fire and demons in there. And then one of your housemates has been playing this game with an identical twin. What? Ah! She morphs into two people. And that, that was not from Jesus. Ah! It, it is, is twins' powers. Activate. <laughs> I was like a rat on a sinking ship at that point. They knew that Jace was out the door. <gasps> Looking for a few good ladies for my alliance. Hello. Maybe a couple of twins. Jace, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Jace will be back. And Jace will be wearing headgear. Will it be a mandana? You have to wait and see. Born again, baby! I ain't leaving. This is my house. I am the only cowboy that's been in Big Brother. I stand out a lot different than most house guests. Michael is the half-brother of Jennifer. They have the same father. Both Michael and Jennifer are completely unaware that the other exists. Nick, what is your last name? Uh, Deadman. Deadman? Yeah. Really? When Nicole must, you know, said her last name and everything, it was a very shocking situation. We have the same father. <laughs> Hello, Michael. I do not know where to begin. I will simply say I did not know of your existence until recently. After the surprise, I hope you are excited to start a new life at a wonderful journey. To find out that I have a sister and a dad, you know, it was a piece of the puzzle that finally came together. Michael and Drew are the final two house guests. And the winner of Big Brother 5 is Drew. When you get so close to a half a million dollars the way I did, you get a taste of what it's like and you want that money so bad that if it takes coming back on the show to win a half a million dollars, I will give a good fight. Breaking house, I hate it. That's just wrong. Nicole, this is the name that I got whenever I was 15. Um, means daughter of the moon. The craziest thing that had to have happened to me was finding out that I had a brother that I never knew that I had. I only hope that you will be as glad to have found my Michael after all these years as I am. My relationship with Michael is very on and off again. We understand that we're related to each other, but we have so little in common. Hell yeah. I go to fetish balls, guys. It's like where people walk around with nipple clamps on their nipples and, like, ask you to spank them. On Big Brother 5, I think that I was definitely misunderstood and, and that people didn't take me seriously as a game player. And who do you think would be first? Nicomas. Nicomas. I was definitely just wanting to be very snake in the grass. Let people start developing their own alliances and see where people are lying. The only regret that I have is the single vote that got me out of the Big Brother 5 house was my brother Michael's vote. I do choose to use the veto to save you, Diane. Nokomis, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. You guys have a good one. Bye. If I get back in the Big Brother house, I'm definitely going to bring a lot more game. I'm going to plan for the future instead of the right now and hopefully win this thing. When I want something, I get it. Woo! I'm not gonna walk around and kiss everybody's ass in this house because it's not the type of person I am. Right now. And I'm just gonna pretend like I'm at the bar. <laughs> 
I said, you're not dumb and neither are we. That's all I said. I feel like being a tough, ruthless bitch is it being a good player? Because girls like me don't give guys like him the time of day. I usually oh, don't talk trailer trash. I'm tough. I'm a fighter. I'm not a pansy ass. Jason Scott, I nominated you too. I was the best player in Big Brother 5, but I got wrapped up in some stupid boy. God, I'd love a Drew. Drew is like sent from heaven. I don't even know if they make men like him on the earth. I had my eyes on you since that first day that I sat next to you on the couch. Do you want to be my boyfriend? And he screwed me at the end. I got to choose between a girlfriend and a best friend. And at this time, I choose to evict you, Diane. I regret it every day of my life because being with him absolutely cost me the entire game. We all know I would have won. I want to go back in, and I'm playing for the money. That's it. I don't give it about anybody else in there but me. That's why I want to go back in. Nobody breaks me down. When we come back, it was a summer of secrets and the most volatile and divided house yet. Big Brother 6, we revealed a brand new two-story house that featured a penthouse suite for the HOH. For Big Brother All-Stars, this room holds an even bigger surprise. But for now, that's a secret. Big Brother 6 was a house divided like never before. The Friendship Alliance and the Sovereign 6 fought back and forth in the most explosive summer yet. And America took sides as well. Internet polls showed that the members of the Friendship Alliance had the lowest popularity scores in Big Brother history. A couple of the house guests from the other side felt America's pain and weren't afraid to speak their minds. Oh, good looking. I'm the best looking guy in Big Brother history. Ooh. I'm ripped, I'm athletic, I'm mobile. I'm the most over the top person in Big Brother history. <laughs> yeah, you stuck with you and your fat hubby and your ugly dog? I'm so jealous, honey. Busta was threatening me and uh, I thought it was time to, you know, for the hurricane to start hovering around here. How do you feel that America hates you, April? They probably hate you. The big bosom busted blonde. Busto for short. Busta, why'd you have to start up again, Busto? I don't you care. suck too bad to waste an HOH week. The best looking guy in this house, I'm the star of the show. Don't talk like that to him. The force was not with me tonight, Master Yoda. <laughs> I'm always starting to be a Jedi. I've become more powerful than any Jedi, even you. My skills have doubled since I left the Big Brother house last year, and when I get in the Big Brother 7 house, you know, look out. I feel sorry for some house guests. The Big Brother without Howie is like a day without sunshine. We Ooh. love you, Howie. Let's just vote, get it done, get me in there, and let me find a new bus go. Oh. What up, K-Sir? What up, K-Sir? I was the first Muslim in the Big Brother house, and the point I was trying to make the first time around was to take down the stereotypes. And you have to pray five times a day, right? I have a problem remembering one. <laughs> but the friendship, they were treating me as if I was just some guy who they thought they can take advantage of. I don't think that's in the Quran anywhere, but we'll go with it. You, you're, you know, you're a dirty player. At that point, it was time to really say, enough. Congratulations, Kaser. You are the new head of household. And that's when I started to put my plan into action. So you sealed my fate? No. I sealed your partner's fate. Eric, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. After I got Eric out of the house, the friendship alliance was shocked. They wanted to get me out at any cost. Hey, sir, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. It's America's Choice. Oh! Which evicted house guest do you want back in the Big Brother house? Hey, sir, is back in the game after receiving an overwhelming 82% of the vote. It was just an amazing feeling. I'm back. I'm with my team. Game on. Let's play. 
comes down to me and Jennifer in the HOH competition. I'm telling you, you're safe. You won't be nominated. You swear on your life? I swear on my life. It was a gross miscalculation. Did I nominate Kaser? Kaser, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. In the end, I trusted the wrong person. That cost me the game. Yeah, I'm going to go back in the house because I was evicted way too early, and it's not going to happen again. This time, I'm here to win. I'm Latin and I can get really loud. Oh! Now I'm starting to get Cuban on his ass. Yeah. You know what the problem is that you have no respect for women. You have no respect for women. Sit Don't down. Don't Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I could have probably toned it down a bit. April, you want the feeder, you could shove it up your ass. I am who I am and I'm going to open my mouth regardless. I have no control of it. Ah! Dun, dun, dun. We started the Friendship Alliance, then the whole house became divided. Everything I hate in this world is in this house. My only regret is sticking with the people that I did. You know, my gut instinct told me they were no good, and I knew it. You know, my dad didn't let me not think about it. The second I walked out, he, like, yelled in my ear how horrible they were, and I was like, okay, no. I was like, stop. I'm not going to get down in the dumps about it. The friendship is no more. Congratulations, Maggie. You are the winner. It's kind of hard to be that close to the money and not get it. I'm dying to get back in there and really play the game. I'm no longer part of the nerd herd. Don't relate them to me. Let me play as an individual. It's all part of the game, baby. There's not a person who's more feared slash hated than me. Pinky swear to sympathy boat. Really? If you do that, you save yourself. My strategy was playing both sides. I'll talk to uh, the sovereign Maggie is the threat first. And then I'll talk to the Girl Scout troop. You know they'll just turn on you next week. I just I kinda lied a lot. I promise. You, you got my hand on the Bible. There's no swearing on the Bible. You think I swore on the Bible? Yes, I swore on the Bible. Yes, I was lying, but it turned around to bite me in the rear. James, you're a dangerous, dangerous player. I nominated James for eviction. I nominated James. I nominate James. I had to win the vetoes to save my ass. You know, it was like win the vetoes or go home. Power of veto goes to James. 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 I got nicknamed the Veto King because I won four veto competitions. If you guys have hopes of winning in this game one day, yeah. you got to get him out of the way. The house decided to come together to get rid of me. The whole house is against him and he knows it. I don't yeah. want him in this house. Whether he's on your side, my that. side, or in the middle, he's dangerous. No. This time they were more efficient. James, you have been evicted. I'm going to go back in there with the same tenacity that I had before. You know, I'm going to go, I'm going to play, and I'm going to win. Mixed with brains uh, is a deadly combination. <laughs> what the hell? Everyone knows that I'm pretty much the tall, buxom blonde. What are you staring at? Your face. Why? Because I like to. Last summer, Michael and I became really close. You ever watch Spider Man? <laughs> yeah. He kissed me upside down. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> I have a little giggle with you. Mm. I thought that I liked Michael a lot, but then I go to the house and I realized I didn't like him at all. I nominate... Kaser. When Jennifer broke her word and then she nominated Kaser, that's when the hatred started. Rachel, you're so beautiful. Thanks, Jamie. Maggie, you're such a bitch. They were just a bunch of dirt bags. <laughs> Jennifer, you look like a clown. Gold digging bitch! They already hated me, so I called them, you know, what I thought of them. Oh, you dead older man! So when I got into a very heated argument. Everybody! You what? Find the hell, bitch! I hate you! It really upset the nerd herd. She doesn't even deserve to be here, period. She does not deserve to be here. No. They were always after me. So I tried to win all the competitions and I tried my hardest to win everything to keep myself safe. <laughs> Power of veto! Janelle, congratulations. You are the head of household. People have always assumed that I was just, you know, dumber than a rock. 
but I am a competitor. Like, I will do anything to win. I really, really, really want to go back into the Big Brother house just because I want to play the game again. Bye-bye, bitches. Over the last six summers, 75 house guests have played the Big Brother game, but only 12 will become Big Brother All-Stars. For the first time ever, the power is in your hands. How can you be part of Big Brother history? We'll tell you how to cast your vote when we return. The top 20 candidates have been revealed, but only 12 will make it into the Big Brother house, and they all want your vote. I sure hope to be an all-star. Don't you want to see a nice guy win? It is on and popping. It's a whole new ball game. Look out, Will. I'm going to dare you not to vote me in. You can't do it. Vote for me! Please? I'm willing to do whatever it's going to take. I'll be a good girl this time. <laughs> I'm pissed off, and I'm coming back. Love me or hate me. Either way, I'm on your mind, so I can bring back some more bikinis. If I'm not in the house, who are you going to have to hate? Put this bitch in the house, and I'm going to kick some ass. I'm ready to cowboy up. Be cool beans. Vote for me. No more swearing on the Bible this year. It's time to unleash Hurricane Howie in the Big Brother 7 All-Star house. The nerd hurts. I dropped them. Let me back in. This time, can't get rid of me that easy. Oh, boy, America. Vote me back into the house. Who do you want to see become an all-star? Well, for the next week, the top 20 will be taking America by storm. They'll be campaigning across the country trying to earn your vote. Go to CBS.com to find out what your favorites are doing to secure a spot as a Big Brother all-star. And tune in to The Early Show this week to see the top 20 candidates make their pleas. It's time to hear from you, America. For the next week, log on to CBS.com and vote. I'll be back here on Thursday, July 6th at 8 o'clock to reveal to you and to the 20 candidates who will be entering the Big Brother All-Star House. Will your favorite become a Big Brother All-Star? Remember, the power's in your hands. From outside the Big Brother House, I'm Julie Chen. Good night. Criminal Minds is next, here on CBS.